Let's talk about um, some approaches to maybe some common medical problems that maybe a different course of action could be required because of FOP. I know when Carly was first diagnosed, I felt that everything that I knew about how to take care of her had just changed overnight. Um, I couldn't make quick decisions and needed guidance on, on very practical things. And one piece of advice that you gave me was to look at it as if there was an FOP and look at the problem to determine what the potential remedy was to apply the FOP filter um, to determine what the risk and the appropriate actions are. Um, can you just elaborate? I think you've talked about that a little bit, but um, what are, are some of the kinds of things that, that we might need to think about as we're trying to figure out the best approach for our children? Yes, thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. I think it's, um, it's very helpful to consider that because it's one of the most important and common questions that I, that I receive. Uh, patients who have FOP uh, are not immune to conditions that affect anybody. Right. Uh, patients who have FOP have ev everything else everybody else has. And um, uh, let's take, for example, appendicitis. Let's say, for example, that a child with FOP has appendicitis. Very often, the, you know, the, the child will have a right lower quadrant abdominal pain. It may not be appendicitis, but somebody thinks it is. They go to the emergency room or they go to the local pediatrician, then go to the emergency room, and the question comes up, oh, my God, what are we going to do? This child has FOP. Well, I say, well, what would you do if the child didn't have FOP? Well, we would take a history and we would do a physical examination. We'd examine the child. There's no reason you can't do that. We would check a blood test and see maybe if, see if the child has an infection. There's no reason that can't be done. We would do an ultrasound of the abdomen. There's no reason that can't be done. We might even do a CAT scan of the abdomen. There's no reason that couldn't be done either. And so very often what I say is, regardless of what the problem is, ask yourself, how would you evaluate the patient if they did not have FOP? And go through the list and ask yourself, are there any diagnostic tests you would do for appendicitis or any other condition that might cause FOP to be, uh, uh, to be exacerbated? Most often, the answer is no, or if the answer is yes, uh, you might be able to find a way around it. So, for example, um, let's say somebody came into the emergency room with a kidney stone, or the, the thought was that they might ha they have FOP and they might have a kidney stone. If it was you or I, they might give us a shot of morphine into our muscle. We say, well, you can't do that in FOP. Fine, but you can start an IV and give the medication intravenously. So basically, we ask ourselves, what are the, what are the diagnostic tests that would be done if the patient didn't have FOP? Um, and if there are any that uh, need to be done uh, that can't be done because of FOP, we try to find a way around it. And then once a correct diagnosis is made for the, for the other condition, whatever else the patient is, is, is having at the time, you ask yourself, how would you treat that if the patient didn't have FOP? And then ask yourself again the same question, is there right. anything that would prevent you from doing that in the case of FOP? Occasionally, let's, take, let's go back to appendicitis. Well, you need to take the appendix out. Someone might say, well, you can't do that. Someone has FOP. Of course you can take the appendix out but you need to make sure that the proper anesthesia precautions are taken. We need to contact the experts in the FOP community who have knowledge about how to safely anesthetize an FOP patient. The, the operating table needs to be safely padded. No intramuscular immunizations are to be given. And sure, an incision is made, but the incision can be kept small to take the appendix out. And yes, a small piece of bone may form at the incision site, but it may not either. But if the appendix isn't taken out, right. someone w would have much more serious consequences. So the basic answer is you go through, you ask yourself the question, what needs to be done if the patient uh, didn't have FOP? And ask yourself, are there any of, of those diagnostic or treatment modalities that need to be modified? And with our help, that is the help of those of us in the FOP community, the physicians who've seen other patients, mm -hmm. we can sort through this with the patient's local doctors in communities around the world and come up with a very effective answer very quickly.